Borstal Boys. This is one of our new, short, word-of-mouth plays to be performed at the Titchfield Festival Theatre, commencing the 25th through to the 30th of March for five nights. This is a true story about the early lives of two brothers who became criminals in the 60s. Michael the Elder did two spells in detention centre and then Borstal training. On release from Borstal in 1967, the two brothers, David the Younger, teamed up and got into further trouble, and they were sentenced to prison for malicious wounding and carrying a firearm without a licence. Michael was sent to two years as a convict, and David to Dover Borstal. On leaving Dover Borstal in 1968, David had a three-year career of undetected crime until he had a bad trip on LSD. He had met Christian people who had informed him his life was out of order, but he mocked them, thinking, how could these straight people enjoy life without getting up to the things he enjoyed? This bad trip, he says, was the horrors, and in this agony he cried out to God for help, and then he realised he wanted to change his life. He learned to read, as he was virtually illiterate, through reading the Bible and other classical Christian literature, and learned who Christ was. One year later, he was able to confess to the police the 24 crimes he had committed since leaving Dover Borstal in 1968, which led to the recovery of much stolen property. Thankfully, to the amazement of many, he did not receive a prison sentence. He went on to technical education in Luton, and then higher education in Wolverhampton, and trained as a lecturer, going on to teach electronics for over 20 years in colleges of further and higher education. David retired from lecturing at Fairham College in 2002, where he had taught there for 12 years. In 1993, he got news of his brother's arrest and his 16-year prison sentence in the Philippines, where he died of tuberculosis in 2005. This play tells the beginnings of these teenagers' lives and their running with the law, as told in the author's book, Converted on LSD Trip, and their joint book, Trojan Warriors. This story could be a real help to all kinds of people. Judges, magistrates, psychiatrists, psychiatric nurses, social workers, policemen, ministers of religion, teachers and probation officers. It has been written to help in the reformation of criminals and to be useful to those living in the margins of society along with unruly youths, drug users and hardened criminals including chaps, hoodies, atheists and agnostics. It is believed that this true story is as remarkable as that told by David Wilkerson in his book The Cross and the Switchblade, a famous classic from the 1960s.